Welcome to On the Table. I'm Betty Shepard. And I'm Kevin Seidenstricker. So what is our show about today? Well, Betty, as you know, our show is always about the title, What's on the Table. Absolutely. And normally I think we like to talk about things that can attribute to our health and well-being. True. Right? Whether it's uh, exercising, stretching, uh, food, beverages, good nutrition. Absolutely. Right? Yes. And, of course, there's going to be a surprise. In the box. In the box. Which is on the table. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. I can't I, wait to see in our next segment what you've got in store for us. I know. It's going to be very good. I think you're going to enjoy it. I can't wait to see it. And I know, of course, it's going to be aligned with our motto. Of keep it simple and simplistic. Simplistic, right. Right. And we're <laughs> going to talk about this book, too, aren't we? Yeah, we sure are. Uh, and we'll talk about the author in the next segment and what's inside of it. But just in short, great information here for daily eating where we can't be at home okay. to take advantage of ah. the, the good shopping that we've done for the healthy and nutritional foods. So when we're out and about, this is going to be very important. Oh, I can't wait to talk I about this. I love that. And yes, Kevin, the calorie, fat, and carbohydrate counter book is what we're going to talk about. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it is. Calorie, fat, and carbohydrate counter. Oh, Say I that like five it. times real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Can't wait. Yeah. I love that. I think that's a great idea. Well, I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited. It's going to be a good show. I think so. All right. We're going to take a break. Welcome back. So, Betty, what now do we have on the table? <laughs> I know. Wow. I always got something on the table. You do. No, we always have the box, but always what is all box. this stuff? What do we have here? These are beautiful bottles. They are. That people generally either may throw away mm -hmm. or they may get them as gifts, which would be the ideal way to receive them you because bet. they could be kind of expensive if you bought these for yourself. Yeah, I can see that. But once it's consumed, mm -hmm. what's in the bottle, Sure. then you can actually take this bottle, which is wonderful. By the way, this particular bottle, which is so beautiful, actually has Egyptian... Egyptian carving kind of... Around it. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, very cool. And what you can do is, and again, at the dollar store, mm -hmm. get food coloring yeah. in a pack. Yeah. And also, you would get this vanilla flavoring. This nice. vanilla oil. Nice. And you would pour some of this oil in here. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, you're going to fill this with w hot water. Okay. And then you're going to put the food coloring in. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add a little of this. A little aroma. aroma therapy going on. I like it. Kevin. The Vanilla, lilac. So, any, any fragrance that you want. Wow. And you just leave that top off. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're done, you just put it back on. And you've got this beautiful decoration. I can imagine that aroma is going to fill a room. It's absolutely going to fill a room. For days until it's evaporated. And you can see it comes in sizes. So you know what? If you're going to go out uh, for the weekend, mm -hmm. how about taking one of the small ones? Great idea. You can pack that. Sure. And set it up in the room. Wouldn't that be That is fun? a great idea. <laughs> yeah, because some of those be hotel fun. rooms can be a little... Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> a little fragrant. Sure. So do that, <laughs> and it just makes a nice gift as well. Decorative. Very decorative. Yeah. So again, you're not spending a lot of money. But if you get it as a gift, or if you just get it for a special occasion. Sure. Right? Sure. It's a nice way to not only save money, mm -hmm. decorate, but just the spiritual calm and mm -hmm. peace that you feel. Yeah, giving to somebody and recycling. Recycling. Great. I mean, how, this bottle could last a long time. Oh, sure. Until I accidentally knock it off the table. I was going to say that. <laughs> well, let's keep it on. Let's keep it on the table. I actually was going to say that <laughs> because that's how we've lost some of our bottles I'm in our sure. home. Uh, little accidents. We we I had company and, and and everybody is you know yeah. upset that they've 
broken our bottle. bottle. Oh well. But at the same time, how replaceable is this? That's right. So what else is on the table here? What else is on the table is this little gizmo here. This looks like a uh, Fourth of July festive. Right. Could be anything, right? Right. Uh, a wedding table centerpiece or right. a birthday, whatever. And again, something else you can make in any color. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you have in here? That's what I was going to do next. Oh, really? Um, remember my box? My famous I do. box? I do. Live Love in it. the moment. That's right. <laughs> also from the dollar store. <laughs> I can't wait to for see For one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me show you what's in here today. I have all of these beautiful rocks and crystals. As a matter of fact, let me move oh, this wow, down. Oh, yeah, let's here. move that over here. Nice. And you can take these different rocks, and actually, you would put those Use on the bottom of the... this. Okay. And you would actually create a paperweight. Okay, now where can you get this uh, foil and Again. some of these things? Dollar store. Really? Of course. I really? Have to, did I have to ask? <laughs> yeah. And where do we get the rocks? Well, let's see, walking through the woods while we're getting exercise Absolutely. and fresh air. Absolutely. Look at how beautiful these are. Yeah. Wow. This is, this rock, this black one, uh -huh. actually came from a volcano. No kidding. It how looks, about that? It looks and volcanic. look at how smooth that is. Yeah. yeah and look at the been... textures. And how old are these rocks? Uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. It could be millions of years old. Sure. And sure. so you're actually holding history in your hand. And you know, I would imagine after an earthquake at sea, some of yes. these things would actually be washed up on shore. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, so economical. Look at this beautiful crystal. Wow. That is beautiful. Now, is this that's, amethyst? That's amethyst. And guess what? What? That's my birthstone. That's my mother's birthstone. Oh, how about Swear that? to God, funny you would mention that. <laughs> this is really beautiful. Now, Isn't beautiful? what kind of energy would come from something like this? Well, you know, again, healing. Yeah. People don't know that there's healing power in these stones and these crystals. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that energy comes from the sun, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. So you could put these outside and gather some think sun about energy. Putting them right in your window. Oh, that'd be pretty. Wouldn't that be pretty? Sure. So that it again decorate your home yeah so when people walking by they see something like that sure that is really pretty. and that energy coming in mm -hmm. is fantastic that is really something and it's wow. actually some of these crystals have been proven to really help people with heart sure like the the, the rose color i think is in yeah. uh yeah Look at that. wow that Isn't is that pretty pretty huh i'm telling you these are just very beautiful. very awesome here's the yellow and, you know, I know I've mentioned before that I'm from southwest Missouri. Right. And from that area uh, is years of mining. Okay. And they have all sorts of uh, crystal that, okay. that oh, they've... Oh, wow, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's come from that area. But, yeah, so uh, very pretty stones that uh, yeah. can be dug up. Look at this one. This is kind of looks layered. Like a, looks like a piece of dessert. It does. It's like something I'd want to eat. <laughs> okay, uh, Kevin. You <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're not going to okay. eat the rocks. I know we used to do... <laughs> Some of that when we were younger and playing in the sure. dirt. We, I double dog dare you. Yeah, kid, we would do stuff right. like that. It right. wasn't very good for us, but these are absolutely beautiful. And now then you can use these things right. in your little gift. Absolutely. Again, different colors of foil for absolutely. the different seasons. And think about it. You these are these would make beautiful gifts absolutely. for someone. Yeah. And you could buy a larger box. Sure. And actually put several items in it. Great idea. And present it to people for the holiday. You know, that's going to be anything that I could buy online or at a store. Absolutely. It's $50, $100. Absolutely. It, this is very simple. I mean, think about it. This is, if you can get the bottle for free, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of wealthy people who throw, you know, they throw away these kinds oh, of things. Oh, sure. Sure. And wouldn't that be nice to just start collecting these over mm -hmm. the, over the months and years? And then any time a special occasion came up, yeah, pull one out of the closet. You could pull one out, dust it off, fix it up. <laughs> yeah, sure. If you're not using it, yeah. The thrift shops are another great resource. No kidding. Oh my gosh, I was at the thrift store. They had the most beautiful bowl. It was hmm. fifty cents. Wow. Fifty wow. cents. So a lot of those decorative, whether they're decanters or expensive bottles that people Absolutely. have just. You know, through an Thank estate sale? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some kind of a spring house cleaning? They all go to these thrift stores. Right, right. Yeah. 
So you're picking up the rocks and the crystals mm -hmm. as you're walking, as That's you're enjoying great. nature, wow. as you're exercising, sure. which is what we stress here yeah. to keep it simple when simplistic. You emphasize that. Yeah. These are really awesome, awesome ideas. Right. Simple and simplistic. Yes. That's and our show. Absolutely. We're going to take a break. All right. And so. I, I love this. I, I love this. Hey everybody. I think you're going to really enjoy this. Uh, <laughs> I think Kevin, so. You can tell us about this book. Sure. Uh, this book is written by the Calorie King, Alan Boroshek. Yes. <laughs> well, it's got a picture right here, or at least inside. And this is such a convenient book to carry anywhere you go outside the house. Yes, you can put it in your purse, keep it in the car. You bet. Absolutely. Uh, I know when we're on the road, we're out and about town, and we don't yes. make it home for our meals. Right. Almost any restaurant, I would almost say every restaurant, unless it's emerged in the last six months, is going to have their nutritional information yes. in this book written by Alan Boroshek. Right. And it introduces a list, all of that menu's nutritional information. Right. Calories, total calories from fat, saturated, unsaturated fats, sugars, carbohydrates. Right. All of that is, for every food that's on every menu, and practically any restaurant you can think of. Think of a fast food restaurant, Betty. Uh, McDonald's is the most popular one that I know of. McDonald's. And so you mentioned one of those restaurants we thought about. Now, there are a lot of diets out there, yes, there where are. you can't always carry that nutritional information with you, but that you'll find in almost all the restaurants that are listed in Alan's book here. Okay. So, for instance, the Atkins diet. Remember, oh, I remember almost that a decade, one. 15 years ago, is when yes. the Atkins diet first came out. And the premise of that diet was high protein, right. low carbohydrate. So no breads, especially white breads, sugars, oh, yeah. flour. So I knew a lot of guys uh, who would, they might go to a fast food restaurant and get the, the big double, triple burger, but they'd take off all the cheese. Or actually, they might leave the cheese, but they'd take off all the buns, right. and scrape a lot of stuff oh, off, that's a good and idea. just have the beef. Right. Uh, steak. Anything high protein was always good. Of course, there's vegetables that are good in protein, right. too. Uh, but the Atkins diet, for example, all that nutritional information can be found in this book. And that's really good. And one of the things that I wanted to go back to with McDonald's mm -hmm. that they're doing is they're now offering healthy choices. Isn't that great? I actually took my niece to mm -hmm. McDonald's and was pleasantly surprised that on the kids' menu, mm -hmm. instead of fries, they could get apple slices. That's great. Instead of soda, they could get apple juice. Very smart. And I love that. I thought that was so great. And kids like apple juice mm -hmm. and they like fruit. So why not give them those options That's rather right. than the things that are not good for you? And again, if you're, you're forced to go with friends, look for those healthy choices. For example, for breakfast, they now have oatmeal mm -hmm. and they also have yogurt with That's right. fruit. That's right. And it's, as a matter of fact, it's a dollar for the, the uh, fruit. Well, no, and it can be in, in any restaurant. It doesn't have to be a fast food restaurant. Right. It can be a, a very well-defined uh, food chain. Right. Whether it's, you know, whatever the price of the menu is, there's some of those restaurants that I just try to stay away from because I know if I walk in the door, <laughs> yes. I'm going to be bad. Right. You can't avoid it. I'm going to be bad. So at least if I have something like this with me right. as a pocket you, reference. And you know what? Whenever I look at that book uh -huh. and I see the number of calories that are in that yeah. sandwich, yeah. it really is a deterrent for it's me. It's like sticker shock. On yes, it's like, <laughs> uh, do I really want to do this? Yeah. And so I really love that they have the salads now. Mm -hmm. And they have the salads that are the chicken salads that are so good. Yeah. And I love anything with raisins and apples. and yep. So they're, they're making some very good, healthy, select... Uh, choices in the their offers, menu now, yeah. 
not only that, but the menu actually has the calorie counts on it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when you look at the McDonald's sign, you know, when you're looking at what you're going to order, right next to it has the calorie. Yeah, so many of those restaurants have that out there now. And so I, what once you've idea. done just a little bit of research Absolutely. and done some comparison between the different types of foods, right. you build up your own knowledge base of, right. generally speaking, you don't always have to know the exact numbers, mm -hmm. but generally what this is going to cost me in terms of calories and right. fats and carbs and right and once you have that knowledge base then you can make general well-informed decisions you can make very good choices yeah you're right and you can make them in a way that is going to not only save you money mm -hmm. but improve your health absolutely and you talked about going to those restaurants with friends yes they can be influenced by your decisions as well you know i was thinking that too yeah. why not teach them some of the things that we're learning you bet. And what you're learning here. What we try to do on the show. What we try to do on the show, which is yeah. keep it simple. And simplistic. <laughs> absolutely. That is absolutely the, the key to this whole show is yeah. keeping it simple and simplistic. It is. And teaching others about how to make healthy choices. Right. And with things like the books that we always talk about, right. the recipes we always introduce. Absolutely. Sure. And Sharing these things is just a way for us and you all viewing out there to share those with your friends, your family, your neighbors.